going to be constantly mixing it up. He's going to be coming high, low, left, right. It does not matter how many times you get shot in this drill. It's all about working every angle. So you're going to you're going to snap shoot. Then you're going to wrap shoot, right? Because if you got to do the next shot, which is wrap. Yep. Then you're going to post on the guy. Okay? And you can you can still one ball and all that kind of stuff. I never want your guns going in a ramp though. And then it is nonstop, all sides of the bunker, up, down, left, right, the whole nine. So someone go to the Dorito and do it with the can and the Dorito over there. Two guys, hustle over, one you got ready. Oh, good shot. Oh, good shot. Sun's obviously another one, and then I'm not worried about the sun. I just change, even when you like got that dominant change height, right? Okay. Like when you would put me in, you just sit low, I'm holding both sides, right? But like even if you like I snap when I miss, just change height. Yeah. Because I'm gonna have to I have to guess, right? Yeah. Yeah, your left hand shooting was great. You're not cheating, you're not trying, that's what they say. I heard that trouble. Yeah, you, gotta, you gotta help the player with that. He's like on the he's about to get smoked. Yeah. He's doing himself a little bit. Yeah. Hey, Mark! I don't keep going, don't worry about it. Come here. So like, all right, one thing, you're, you're playing a one-on-one. Hey, you're, you're humping the Dorito. He's, Cody's got it. Hey, you're, you're, you're really close to the bunker. You're humping the Dorito. For this drill purpose, play comfortable, right? Okay. You want to be able to be nice and nice and comfortable here, right? Switch hands to there and just being, being how you should be playing paintball, all right? I understand in tournaments, sometimes you got to do this kind of stuff, but you don't need to do this right now and work in different skills. So. Cool. Good job, Joe. You were coming out of like a lot of different positions. That you were really smoking good. me. <laughs> my math and math. I know, mine got hit too a couple times. Good shit. Hey, the other thing, no more than no more than two snaps out of the same spot, right? You start doing four or five in a row, and then he's like hitting you three balls in a row. Gog, gog, gog. Right? No, where the paint's gotta be. No more than two, right? You miss him too, he's gonna shoot to the third time, whether it's right. like division five or like pro. Like they're not gonna miss the third one. Yeah. Which not helping. Alright, Evan, throw your guns down real quick. Can we mask off real quick? Yeah. 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 So real, real quick, which bunker has the advantage in that? Burrito, for sure. Okay. Anyone want to argue that? No. All right, good. At least everyone's on the same page with that. The best Does one. Does everyone understand why the Dorito has the advantage? Just because it's a can. Well, I think surface area. Maybe yeah. you put your feet wider. Yeah. You can look both ways pretty easier. Yeah. You have way more options. What's the best bunker to do this drill out of? I like small temples personally, because yeah. I can pop the top one when I get that big angle. temple. Ooh, yeah. negative. No, I would say you're right. I'd say small temple, yeah, because you've got, I mean, almost five different angles you can play the thing. From. Absolutely. Oh yeah. yeah, you can go above. Yeah. Yeah. And then on the flip side, when you're over the top of a small temple and he shoots like high left or whatever, you can actually fade the other way. Sure. To get away from his paintball and still shoot the gun, right? Does so, everyone understand that? Yeah. Good. Everyone's sweating, right? Yeah. I'm getting close. Did, did you feel it yet? I was yeah. All right. This is the drill you always got to do. Um, but beyond that, right? Small temples, obviously best bunker to ever gunfight out of. You're talking about three on three situations, right? And you guys are losing games in this. 
make sure you're making the right gunfight choices, right? You're not battling out of a can with a guy into a Dorito or into a small temple. You know, that's the guy that's kind of got a lip. This little stuff for like the mid-game stuff will make a difference. Makes sense. So, um, real quick, I always give people the option. Who wants to do it against me? We, sure, we, we, yeah. we, we can all line it up, but I'll give you a lot of feedback really quick. Yeah, for so, sure, 100%. Can I get a micro before you fucking yeah, school thing? <laughs> yeah. Here's a shitty one and here's a good one. Okay, I, get one I took your pain, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, you want to maybe give everybody like two minutes to go get air paint and oh, wipe they, with a micro? They won't last a pot against me. Let's go. <laughs> That's what I like, Maybe dude. <laughs> well, and it's, I mean, yeah, you can probably last longer, but it's all about, I, I just need to get the basic feedback so I can come to you and be like, hey, man, this is what's going on. Yeah. So I'll, I'll be in the can. No, dude, you take the Dorito. No, 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 no. No, no, no when, when, when it gets bad, I'll, I'll, take, I'll go to the Aztec. But uh, after, after I say call it with you, run over to me. And then I'll give some feedback. But everyone line up at the Dorito and we'll go through this quick, all right? Thank you. Scott, you're going to sign Dorito on a really bad mood. <laughs> you guys better shoot me a lot because I'm out of a can. Ready, go! What are you shooting at? He's in Don't waste the paint. I was a broke guy for a long time, right? Yeah. Let me shoot at the target. Okay. Okay. So wait, wait till I'm ready. Yep. Um, you play it really tight. Okay. But more variance. More up and down. Yeah. Hey, real quick. This brings me to my next thing too. And Jimmy was a prime, prime suspect of it. Is he played super tight on it? No, no. He played this spot. Okay. This is the worst one to play. Why? Right in the middle. There we go. You either want to be tall or you want to be low, right? Okay. Don't give me the middle ground. That's then I'm sorry to blow my face off. Well, then I'm lucky I can either shoot you in the elbow or the face, depending on which okay. way I think he's coming out, right? So, all right, we'll keep going. I think I hit him once, dude. That was good. Ooh. <laughs> you starting guns up or down? Ready, go! I got hit a few times. Oh, keep going. Yeah, oh yeah.
Did he? Put two on him? That was a fucking workout, dude. Come on! <laughs> hey, real quick. Everyone, he was very, very good at snapping. He never took control. Right? You never rapped on me once. No. So know that. Like, the goal is to take control. You gotta connect with me, and then when, when I go in, you gotta go and take over the dominance. Okay. Right? So know that this is the point of the drill. All right. But good snapping. You're nice and quick, you're nice and tight. Work on the post. All right. Good fight, buddy. Ready, Corey? Never did the wrap shot till the very end. Okay. All right, so really focus on that. Watch how Cody does it. What we're all doing that he doesn't do is like. Hey, bring it in, guys. Let me see your gun super quick. Yeah. And I think we're all. Yeah, they're off. We're all guilty of it. Like his paint's obviously right where it needs to be. This paint's not very good, so let's not justify well, that. Fucking hitting us with it. Yeah. We're we're jerking the gun on the way back. Cody doesn't do that. Cody just rolls off on his other foot. So the reason our first ball is high or low and wide is because you're like jerking your gun back where it needs to be. He's just rocking on his leg. That's all he's doing. And also if you're flinching, that draws refs to you. Yeah, it's you throwing us all off. No flinching. What I used to do with people He's too, not even breathing hard, he's not even using any energy. He's just rolling off the, the, his non-dominant leg. Which is the control part, right? right? You want full control of your body, in and out, in and out, in and out. There's still a lot of times too where you guys are snapping and you're either hitting your bunker or you're not even coming close to connecting with me, especially on the wrap shot, right? You guys are coming out left to shoot at me high right, and your paintball is still like hitting way on the other side of the bunker, right? So like, I don't even have to come in on that kind of stuff. So know that and be like, all right, here we go. Got to really focus that shot. And paintball is 90% prediction half the time anyway. You kind of got to guess right. But if you're, not guessing, if you're not guessing right, nor shooting the right shot, you're never going to get there. Sure. So, all right, let's keep going. Is this humbling to anybody? Yeah, I feel like was, I smoked two packs of six. <laughs> I mean, like, I feel like this is a good, like, if you think you're a badass gunfighter, step on up and let's see, right? I couldn't see and, it. And it's one ball at a time, too. So it's not like, it, it really puts the skill set into what you want to do, right? Hey, I'm going to go grab some things because I, I don't know, I mean, I got like no ball. All right, you ready, homie? Ready, go. No, I just brought paint for myself. So. Oh, it's good. We got Good shot, Trev. Hold down. Hold down. Good shot. There you go, Trev. Low's good. Now hold that. You don't give it back. Good 
shot. Thing. That's good. Bring it in. Hey, way to be, Trev. So you connected a lot, which is great, but there's a lot of times you didn't even come in okay. and I double tap you. Right. Did he so. feel predictable with this left shot for you? Because it seemed like when you were wrapping right, shooting the left side, you were smoking him. Oh, yeah. it wasn't necessarily predictable, but okay. like, there's a couple times that you didn't come all the way back in and I just shoot you again. Yeah. So make sure you're always doing the whole motion. Um, okay. Yeah. You did work the wrap shot good, and uh, you truly tried to post. So. That's that's what it's all about. You wore it for it. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, that's, but that's, that's the, mission, the point. Though, right? that, yeah. that is the point. So good stuff. Yeah, and if that's a point you actually shoot them, like you just hold that gap then. Like that's that's right. yours. Like you take it and you own it. Cool. Thank you, sir. Good job, Trevor. Yeah, let me steal a pod from you, homie. Hey, your first ball when you came low out that side was fucking immaculate. So, I think that was the first time you hit him and I was like, that was a shot, dude. <laughs> Thank that was you. a fucking shot. You said something right. I was like, wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> that was a shot. Scott. Way be Scotty. Only big thing is you, you don't come all the way back in sometimes. Okay. So you're coming out, right? And you have a nice quick snap, then you're coming out and you're leaving just a little bit of your loader. Or leaving a little bit of the goggle. Um, the other thing that you did very well though, is when you switch sides, you're looking for that first shot and then you're looking for the wrap shot right away. Yeah, yeah which, you're talking for it. Correct, and that's what you need to be doing. Uh, of these guys, who has got the flinch shot? Um, they they shoot the way back in. Like, uh, come bring it in real quick behind me. 
This is another one of those uh, elements of the game that no one ever practices, unless you do it in these games, but like, Keith Brown, right? Okay. He's playing the snake. He has no idea there's a guy who just dives in the snake and he's rapping to shoot at the guy in the back center. And he pulls in. And all of a sudden that guy comes out down the wire and Keith flinches, comes in and shoots that guy, right? It happens and it is a game changing shot. Oh yeah. Because that guy got in without him knowing, but then he shot Keith and Keith still traded with him with no idea, right? That's Troy for sure. This is, this is that secondary shot though also. We are wrapped here so you can see the whole bunker. Sure. And he comes out to the high left and you're pulling in. Yep. So this drill working more. Another pot, who's next? Smoking us right here every single time. Force the dominance, which I like. Yeah. But over you overdid it, right? Yeah. Right. So like, especially low. Where that one time I shot you like three or four times, and I don't think you actually ever came in. You switch levels, but right, you're I still right-handed. You know what I mean? Side, right. Yeah. yeah so I got to come come back in and reset. Okay. Um. But good stuff. Thanks. So, everyone, gun safe. Yeah. You guys should start every single practice with this. Yeah. 100%. Grab a buddy. Go and do it. I tell this to everyone. I say like, start every practice with this. You take me and Jonah out here, we book it, dude. We're going non-stop left and right. It never looks like we stop, right? And that's how it should be. Doesn't matter how many times you get shot, it's about getting the blood flowing, working up a sweat, being ready to go. Sure. Any questions on it? No, great drill. Yeah, I got a question for you. So I noticed when I was gunfighting you, when I would shoot you or get that dominance, you would switch. You were playing so tight that even when I would wrap on you, I couldn't get that dominance or hold that. What should I do in that situation? Do I? Do I have if you to look the other way, he's like, you're like, he's like fishing to get shot in the face. Is what he's saying. Like if you head checks the other way, he knows you're going to smoke him. Like sometimes like I'd put you and I shot you once and you would switch this way. So, and you'd be so tight here that even if I have to get the tip of your barrel, but I can't actually see you. So I have to come and force the heads out But the I can see you. I don't know about that because even when I would wrap you, remember So I, I only did a show like Marshall, you did it like eight or nine times where you came out and you snapshot the same spot like two or three times. Yet I was low right. Lower, yeah. So you were only shooting this side of the bunker. Yeah. Let me fill you in on something. If you're shooting that shot, more than likely I'm not going to switch to it. <laughs> right? I'll stay where I am when I have the dominance. 
So, with what you're saying is, I'm always making sure I can see the whole bunker. Yeah. When you are playing a Dorito though, if you're still low, you might only see the tip of my barrel, but you're not exposed enough to shoot me. Right. As soon as you can be, I think you should see, you should be able to see everything, right? Okay. Um, you to high and wrap a little bit more. Cool. So play the geometry of the bunker. Let's go talk about this. Here, no, you don't even. No, you can come with. Then we got a ten or a twenty, possibly. So everyone get directly behind me so you can see the angles, right? So how this drill should really operate too, when you are like the paintball guys doing this, is I'm here, he has dominance on me, right? So I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna guess my first shot is high right, boom. All right, he wasn't there. I reset for my quick second and I'm instantly going to the wrap for the, like the high left or the low left, either wherever I, I guess you are, right? You know he's on the right side. Correct, because you just checked that off, right? And if he's if, he, if he's then switching, right? When I did my wrap shot, I didn't see him. Now I just stay here, because I have the dominance, Correct, right. right? So um, you played in the mid-range a lot too. Mm -hmm. So you're here, and what you're saying is when you are, what you think wrap like this, you just see the tip of my barrel? When I was wrapping low, when I was wrapping low, I would only see the tip of your barrel when you would come out to this side and post. And I didn't want to sit here posting on you waiting, so I'm like, well... Well, that's not the drill, but yeah. I, I think then it's on you. If you see my barrel, shoot it. Just try to shoot it. Well, it's like the tip. So, like, I'm throwing a couple balls at it, but it's not close. And but I know you're well, being disciplined just sitting there waiting. No, I'm, I'm, but I'm, I'm still in control, I guarantee it. Right. So what I'm saying is, if you come out enough to see goggle and stuff, you're going to get shot yeah. or shoot my barrel. Right. right? And that's another thing is, like, you go to your feedback with your buddy, be like, hey, I can always see your barrel, but I don't see you. Right? In paintball, really think about that. If I'm this guy, Come right behind me again, and like we're playing a five on five game, and that back center's there, and I'm shooting at that back center, and all I do is I see him roll off his barrel to hold the next gap. Sure. I'll be like, oh sweet. So then I'll just wrap, and I'll go and I'll shoot this guy. Don't even care about the back center. No. Because his barrel is rolled off. The drill just did its purpose. You had control, right? And then you move up the middle and you shoot their middle guy or, or snake guy or whatever the situation is. So think about it that way. Um, and in this drill, you work your snap shooting, you work your posting, you work your wrap shot. You work every detail of it, but when you start getting shot by something a lot, be like, hey, issue. I gotta do that more. Yeah. I gotta do that more. If you're getting the same feedback from the same guys, like, hey, left, left elbow always coming out first, fix it. This is the only way you can. There's no other way. You can't shoot cones and fix it. You can't do five on five and fix it. Because yeah. you're not coming up to you and be like, hey, every time I see your elbow, right? No one's ever said that to anyone, right? So, cool. We're gonna go to three on threes. Okay. Situational stuff. Um, yeah, so load up. Everyone get four or five pods. Okay. Nothing crazy on paint, but we're gonna start working game closing stuff. Oh. Oh. 